And how long will you be visiting the United States, Mr. Yuzachevsky? Just another two, three days, four or five. Maybe a week to ten days. Or two weeks to three. A month or two, maybe. Two months, three months, a year, two, three years. Or maybe just another 20 minutes. Are you going to be staying on after your show closes at Lincoln Center? I am not sure. When we start class, I am anxious to see American acting class. Well, as I say, there's no time like the present. <laughs> what? Who says that? They. Who are they? Well, they are these fantastic people who say all these marvelous things all the time. You know, like an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. They are saying that too? Oh, yes. And um, don't cross your bridges before they're hatched. They don't say that. What do they know? You're right, because if they knew, they would say, you're Papuna Vinicic. Oh, what's that? How should I know? They said it, not me. <laughs> it's bad enough we have to watch him. Now we also better keep eye on that girl. <laughs> Take our seats. It is indeed a privilege having this distinguished comedian from the Russian stage observing our class here today. So let's give a proper welcome to the honored artist, Mr. Nikolai Yusachevsky. And uh, on a more personal note, may I say, Povni uni masni spejich. I'm afraid I didn't understand a word you said. Neither did I. I heard that on Danny K record. <laughs> How long is Yusachevsky going to be here? Oh, I don't know. Two, three weeks, a month, or two. Maybe three or four. <laughs> Half a year, a couple of years. Maybe three, maybe four. Twenty minutes. Hi, what are you talking about? That's what Nikolai did to me. Oh. I think he really has to go back next week. Look, honey, there's one I saw in the catalog. Look at it. I like it. Oh, come on, honey. I know you well enough to tell. That's a definite you don't like it that I like it. Well, until you mention the thing about it being part of my house, too. I, I would have meant I like it for you. But oh, I really think if we're going to start spending money on art, we should really wait and save up for something we both love. Uh, I agree. I agree. It's only $30. It is? It's terrific. Buy it. You get to love it. As a matter of fact, I'm beginning to feel a very warm twinge for it right now. In fact, I think I've fallen in love with it. It's $800, honey. I hate it. <laughs> Tell you, you suggest he's got two men from the Inky Dinky following him around. The Inky Dinky? Something like that. It's a Russian spy group. You must mean the NKVD. That's right, that's right. How did you know? Because I know what the Russian spy group is. Inky Dinky. That's the Disneyland spy group. <laughs> uh, honey, are you sure the NKVD is following him? Uh, Donald, I saw them. Because if you are right, I may have myself a very big story. About them? Them and Nikolai. I mean, why would they be following him around unless they suspected him of something detrimental to Russia? Or suspected he was up to something? Well, like what? Spying? Oh, Donald, I'll bet that's it. I'll bet they suspect him of spying on the United States and they're just waiting to catch him. 
And that's totally stupid. They wouldn't object to him spying on us. Yeah, but they would object if he was bringing information into this country and passing it on to someone. Oh, my gosh, Donald, this is a story. Honey, honey, listen, can you arrange for me to meet him, have a dinner of some kind? Well, well yeah, I think so. But, Donald, if he is a spy working for us and, and you write a story that appears in Russia, won't he get in trouble? Yeah, well, if I wrote a story saying that, I should think it would raise a few eyebrows in the Kremlin. But, listen, we'll be very careful. We'll have the dinner at Nino's. But that's a public place. Yeah, well, of course. I mean, that way, the Yinky Dinky won't suspect any hanky panky. <laughs> They're still there. They have been following him around all day. You too. Me too. Certainly. They see I am liking you, so they are suspecting you too. Of what? Of helping me to defect. Defect? You're kidding. Watch this, watch. Spasibo. <laughs> KVD? Exactly. You remember two years ago, our prima ballerina defect to West Berlin? Yes. Well, they are afraid that I will do the same thing. They will watch me even more close. Why? Russia needs comics. It can spare jumpers. <laughs> uh, Nikolai, how would you like to give me an interview for my magazine? You know, life in Russia, a comic in Russia, your own opinions on defectors. Gladly. I have nothing to hide. And I might make interesting person to read about. Frankly, I do a lot of reading in my life. And I like what I read about me best. <laughs> waiter, waiter. Yes. Bottle Chianti, please. Right. And two straight vodkas over there for Rimsky and Korsakov. <laughs> That's marvelous. <laughs> now, Comrade Hallinger, tell me your questions. Ah, uh, uh, let's see. If you do not object for my reputation, I would like to start with a beautiful quote of mine about Russia. Fair enough. Go ahead. Russia is the most wonderful country in the world. Has view far as I can see. Now, here is how wonderful I am. <laughs> Allow me. Please. See? It's like taking Chianti from a baby. <laughs> To my new and wonderful American colleague of the theater, <laughs> and you. my new wonderful friend of the press, Thank Donald Hollander. A Thank pleasure, you. a Thank pleasure. You. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Why don't we take a cab and go to my apartment? Then Donald can finish the interview there. It'll be much more private. Nicole, where you live, Anne? I live at 627 East 54th. It's not a bad idea. Drink up. Yes, check, please. Oh, no, 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 Nick. Nick I, I have the check. No, Donald, I please check, let please. be my pleasure. Please. Young man, you're on uh, Griblik. <laughs> what? Griblik, charge card, you know, restaurants, <laughs> gas stations, and all Griblik coverall stores. <laughs> Sorry, sir, but uh, we carry only the normal amount of the. Uh, oh, it's all right. It's all right. Here, th take this one. You know, Gribbley coveralls are really strong. Mr. Yusuchevsky. 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 What is this? Velnik. Velnik. Surely you are not Velnik. Well, no. Here, let me take the check. I'll take the check. Donald, please, Donald, please, do not insult me. It's all right. Don't worry about it. Here, take this and don't worry about it. And keep it all. Come. Um, yeah. Excuse me, w what are you doing, Mr. Yusuf Chepdesky? I am paying for a meal and leaving you a big, big tip to pay for three more. Oh, but we don't take toy money. <laughs> for the rubles. Oh. <laughs> that is enough money in Russia to buy me a seat on Committee of Honor. I'm sorry, sir, but... Uh, see, listen, again, listen, uh, listen uh, Nico, please, let me take care of the uh, check. Money. I'll just pay him, and the, tomorrow night we can go to a Russian restaurant. You can bring your little rubles, and you'll pay for it, okay? Well, it sounds fair Thank enough. You. It sounds all right. But, but remember, his date. Yes, right, date. It is. <laughs> is there a restroom here? 
Uh, uh, yes, uh, right to the right, Nico. In same building? In the same building. <laughs> what a country! <laughs> Let him rest room in peace. <laughs> Don, do you think they're really supposed to stop him from defecting if he wants to? I don't know, honey. I don't know. Well, I think it's awful. I think it's just awful. I mean, if somebody wants to defect, they should be able to defect. Anybody can leave this country that wants to. Yeah, but, honey, you're talking about a democracy. Russia is not a free state. People live like that. I mean, knowing that no matter what they do, they're not exercising their own will. Doesn't it do something to your mind? Well, I guess some people give in to it and don't even mind it at all. Others fight it, resist it, or are frustrated by it. But I, I'm, I'm sure it must do something to their mind, yeah. What are they doing? going to the restroom, he went to the restroom. <laughs> Anne has a robe just like that one. I hope you are not minding. I packed your picket. <laughs> you're all right, though. I also took a quick shower. I was filthy, exhausted from running here. They almost caught me twice. Oh, no. Are you sure they didn't follow you all the way? I do not think so. Wait. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. They are there. Where? Look down there. I don't see them. I don't see them either. Of course not. NKVD is not letting themselves be seen. If you are seeing them, believe me, it is not them you are seeing. <laughs> what are you going to do? Nothing. Nothing. For one night, nothing. I would like to have one night with nothing on my mind. Tomorrow I will work out the details. What? What, what details? Uh, wait, wait a minute. Will they come up here? No, of course not. This is private house. They will not bother you. As long as I stay here, I am free. Is why I would like one night with no problem. And, um, yeah, darling, I could not have picked nicer person to defect to. <laughs> Defecting? T to me? You don't like that? Oh, Nikolai, I think it's a great honor. <laughs> Nikolai, you're actually going to give up your Russian citizenship and seek asylum here? Exactly. What a story. What a story. I'm going to call my editor. Donald, shouldn't you call somebody else first? I mean, like the FBI or the police? A Russian comedy star defects to apartment of American starlet Anne Marie. Call your editor. Uh, no, <laughs> no, don't call so fast. Why not? Uh, well, we should wait 24 hours for sake of family. Your family? Yes. You see, I tell family what I was going to do, and they need time to protect themselves in Russia. Oh. Uh, well, what's your plan? Plan. My plan. I have plan. My plan was tomorrow. I was going to, when troop go back, slip away. But tonight, I see, was better opportunity to skip out. So in the last second in the restaurant, I decide to skip instead of slip. <laughs> and you caught you missing? No, no. I am doing this before for a day. And then coming back by myself. Donald, please, do not report me for 24 hours. You see, tomorrow when troop go back, NKVD go with them. Their visas are up too. Oh, Donald, let's do it. Let's give him the 24 hours. Well, he'd have to stay here overnight. Well, so what? That would be nice. Oh, Donald, we could stay up all of us tonight and have wine and cheese and, and celebrate his defection. Oh, Donald, I love it. It's like something out of 1939 in Europe. I'm Marlena Dietrich, and he's Paul Muni, and you're Gary Cooper. And Peter Laurie and Sidney Greenstreet out there have real guns. Hello? 
Uh, uh, goodbye. If you expect to see or not see both of them, forget it. What do you mean? One of them isn't there. Why do you say that? Because one of them is in a phone booth somewhere, hanging up from talking to me. <laughs> what did he say? Well, he said that if I had any brains at all, I'd... I'd send Nico back to his hotel. Oh, they frighten you. They frighten you, Karzinka. That's it. That's all. That's it. That's all. To jeopardize my own life. Or life of my family is one thing. I'm not crazy about most of them anyway. <laughs> I pause you one moment. Even one second concern, even though I know it's perfectly safe, is not worth it. No. I am turning myself in. Oh, no, Nico. You're right. <laughs> Nico, now look, I don't want Anne to be in any danger whatsoever. Now, is there any chance they may come up here or bother her? No chance. She's done nothing wrong. This is your country. Only your government can persecute you. Uh, do, do they know that? Who? The, the NVDV. NKVD. <laughs> of course you're safe, Billy. Honey, I, I'm sure he's right. Listen, let me make a call. Who are you calling? A friend of mine who's a lawyer. W will he know of these problems? Well, he specializes in automobile accidents and defections. <laughs> well, I'm going to take some coffee. I will help you. Hello, Barry? Barry, uh, Don Hollinger. Yeah, fine, fine. How are you? L listen, do you know anything about international law? Defections, to be specific. What will you do after tomorrow, Nikolai? I will go to nearest federal courthouse and ask for asylum. Or else maybe I will go to nearest asylum and ask for courthouse. Oh. <laughs> you don't seem very concerned. I mean, even for your family. Well, my family will be totally safe. Tomorrow, before government find out about my defection, my family will be on holiday to Switzerland. Oh. How many are there in your family? Let me see. There's Krinsky and Minsky and Mushy and Pins, <laughs> Nevsky and Hefsky and Levsky and Blind. <laughs> Nikolai, Pikolai, Sasha and Kettle, Don, and Blitzen and Peanut and Brittle. <laughs> Trotsky and Hotsky from Vladivostok. From Moscow comes Bashville and Dopey and Doc. Milovich, <laughs> Zilovich, Dolovich, Tolovich, Milovich, Cheezovich, Sonovich. Hey! <laughs> I just talked to Barry, my attorney friend, and he said you were right, Nikolai. You're safe as long as you're here, and we have nothing to worry about. Yeah, but suppose they call again. They're only trying to frighten you. Yeah, and are they good at it? <laughs> good morning, sweet person. <laughs> Good morning, honey. What time is it? It's 7.30. Mm. Well, I, I have to get home and get dressed. Is there any coffee left? Yes, there is, Donald. But I thought it'd be a good idea if we went out for coffee. I want to talk to you about something. Shh, please. Here you are, honey. Thank you, Donald. You know, Donald, I was thinking about it all night. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but something really bothers me about Nikolai. In what way? Well, no, it just... It just seems to me that he should be a little more concerned. I mean, a little more terrified, just more... Man. Don't look, don't look. It's them. Who? The VK VK. Where? Don't look. Don't look. Now look, look. Yeah, it's them, all right, huh? But listen, don't worry. There's nothing they can do to us or they would do to us. Well, why are they following us around? Calm down. There's nothing they can do. I'm more concerned with your feelings about Nikolai. Oh, well. Well, it, it's just that... Well, Donald, I, I look at things as an actress. And, and it, it, it just seems to me that if I were going to play the part that Nikolai is living, I wouldn't play it the way he is in a million years. He's playing it like Clark Gable in Idiot's Delight. He should be playing it like, well, like Humphrey Bogart in Casablanca. What does that mean exactly, honey? He should just be more terrified. Okay, I know he's a comedian, but, but still his humor should, should have more fear and, and more concern in it. You know, like a little <gasps> nervous laugh instead of such a genuine laugh. It seems to me that he's, he's totally out of character. Well, honey, tomorrow by this time, it'll all be out of our hands, hopefully by this afternoon. Why, what's this afternoon? Well, last night after you went to sleep, Nikolai. 
We stayed up a little while longer and talked, and he asked me to buy him some American clothes. He's going to slip out of here in those clothes this afternoon. You're kidding. Yes. And frankly, there wasn't anything about his behavior that disturbed me. I thought his humor was just an attempt to put us at ease. Of course, like Pagliacci. Even though your heart is breaking, laugh, clown, laugh. <laughs> so that's another way you could play it. <laughs> Nikolai Yusachevsky, sir, famous Russian comedian. And I am Huskis, at Miss Anne Marie, famous American actress. Who are you? I am Lou Marie, father of the famous American actress. <laughs> you have exactly five minutes to tell me what you're doing in my daughter's role. <laughs> Daddy! Hello, sweetheart. Anna, Anna, I have met you. And he is the most wonderful man in the world. Look. Look on what he buy me. In one meeting, he went out. Look on me. Oh, you're marvelous, Daddy. That's terrific. Thank you. The old man doesn't have such bad taste after all, does he? Not at all. But Donald was going out to buy Nico's clothes for slipping away. Well, this is after slip away wear. You need some American clothes to get started. Isn't he wonderful? I love him already like my own father. Your father? Now, wait a minute. No, no, my father is young man. Younger than me. He is my younger father. <laughs> Well, I got you some shirts. Donald went to get your pants and a sports jacket. You like them? Oh, they're beautiful. Be and red! Don is already gotting you a sports jacket and some slacks. <laughs> oh, my wonderful friends. I will never be able to repay you. Please, don't even think of it. Don't worry. He won't. Donald. Uh, uh, t take it easy, honey, take it easy. Who are you men? Daddy, don't start. That's the KDTV. Oh, what? The, the NKVD. <laughs> NKVD? Yeah. Well, this is America. You can't do anything to us. I'm afraid you are right, but uh, you seem to have already done it to each other. <laughs> what are you talking about? We are not with NKVD. You're not? Who are you? We are from Economic Department. You have been trying to stop Nico from defecting. Ha, I wish we could talk him into defecting. He is what I think you call in your country a, uh, a con man, a conniver, a... a uh, cheat. Cheat. <laughs> From everybody in every country, he steals food, clothes, money, with same made-up defection story. Is that not right, crook? 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 You call me crook? Crook is bad word. I want word with little more color. Chiseler has a ring to it. I am Chiseler. Ding dong. <laughs> oh, it's all my fault. I just so wanted to believe that he wanted to defect that I just accepted everything he said, and I made I made all of us a perfect target for him. It just seems so stupid, Donald. I mean, he could have stayed in this country if he wanted to. He spoke English beautifully. Donald, am I crazy? No, honey, no, no, you're not crazy. It's normal to expect everyone to want what we have. Now stop knocking yourself. You did what you did out of a feeling of pity for your fellow man and pride in your country. Now what more could you ask for? A hundred dollars worth of wine, food, and clothes for you, Daddy, and myself. And a good night's rest. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Like is right around here somewhere. We'll take another look at it. Maybe we'll buy it. Donald, don't look. Honey, that kind of spoils the fun of going through an art gallery. <laughs> I mean that. I've got a feeling we're being watched. Honey, don't be silly. Now, come on. Let's look at the painting. Look, Donald. What? I told you the NKVD is around here. Honey, look, look at the red star. 
Hi, the red star means the painting is sold. Oh, I'm sorry, Donald. I, I don't know what's the matter with me. I just got this feeling. Okay, will you relax now? Look, look, not only isn't anybody staring at you, there's nobody else here. Yeah, you're right. I don't know why I had that feeling. <laughs> Oh, no. 